Hey, so I'm Hollywood Dan from Jack Rabbit's Barbers again. Today I've got in Pierre and we're going to be doing a haircut on him. We're going to keep the top nice and long to keep that a bit messy and choppy up on top. We're going to take the sides right the way down this time. We'd like to change the haircut up a little bit each time he comes in. Today we're going to take it from the slightly longer um, haircut that we've been doing to really nice tight and short on the sides, blending it through to the top and then keeping the top bit longer, disconnected, choppy. So let's see how it goes. So again, I'm just going to take this uh, grade two. You always work with one. Uh, pretty much now, I'm always wireless. It's so much easier to do haircuts without the faff of wires. As soon as they start making a wireless hairdryer, I think I'll be in there. My trimmers, my clippers, the only thing that I've got wired at the minute is my bolding clippers. Yeah. So when I take it down really nice and short on the sides, I'll use my boulders and they are wired still. They don't do a wireless version of them yet. So again, I'm just getting my bulk and my base put in again, taking the two up. We might be taking it a bit short from the sides. So this is a grade one and I'm doing the opening it up and closing it down a little bit. Just want to make it nice and soft. Going from the one into the two. Hello mate. How you doing? How you doing, so? Si? You well? Do you want it more disconnected rather than blended? A bit more disconnection up here. Yeah. Yeah. We're back to a one and a half again, actually. Yeah. I'm just sharpening and changing so much because I can see what I want to do. Sometimes a grey doesn't cut it and might, might cut it, might not. So I'm probably going to take the bottom of this area shorter, but I'm just going to go around the edges just to get the excess hair off before I do that and blend it up. So at the minute that's just a grade one really on the very bottom and I might want it to take it to 0.5 but blend it up. So what I like to do with my clip over comb is to go both ways so I go upwards, go on the spine and I come downwards and I just taper in those ends around the pinnacle, around the sideburns and around the ear. This I'm just getting rid of some bulk again. Is it feeling short enough on the sides at the minute? Yeah. Do you like to go any shorter or is that as short as you'd like to go? It's short enough. Nice. I'm just going to trim a little bit of top. Leave this bit here yeah, so not too much. We're just going to make it messy as well, so maybe take a lot of texture to it. I'm going to take some of the crown, so the crown gets weighty. So this area is not really our feature area. When clients talk to us about what they like their hair to look and how they like it to be, they don't normally necessarily mean all around here at the back where it's all clumpy and chunky. But what he means is that we want to take this fringe and keep that longer and keep the disconnection look and the longer look over here. So what I can do um, as a barber is just take the back area and the crown area a little bit more off um, because the client doesn't need all the bulk around there and they might think they want it, but a lot of time they don't need it um, unless they're going for a style that creates, they want all that look at the back. But I'm not taking a lot off, this is just to tidy up and blend it into the short style that we've created on the sides. 
We don't want to come around too much on this side and blend that because he likes this connection look. So really, I'm only looking behind the ear. I'm not going to do anything before, uh, in front of the ear. So I'm just going to take the trim the ends off the sides behind the ear and up into the crown. And leave all of that flopping. And what we can do is I can section that after we blow dried it to get a little bit cleaner and tighter underneath it to keep the hair that goes over the top of it um, so it sits over nicely and doesn't bulk out too much. And it'll match the other side because he likes to have it symmetrical. The good thing to always remember though is um, your client and what they, what they do as a profession. If they're a businessman and you give them some kind of crazy faux hawk um, or really exaggerated um, crazy look, they're not going to really like that or enjoy that. So you've got to kind of match their haircuts to what their profession is as well. Um, you know, if, they're, if they have something that's slick contour that needs a lot of work, a lot of product in, and then yet they're, you know, a dancer or something during the day, their hair's not really going to stay there very well. So you need to just think about what your client does for a living and whether it's going to suit them for that living that they do trying to create something a bit shorter but do that taking it too short so just go in with your longer grades it's better to go in longer and take it shorter than going too short and then it's whoops it's too short already so this is a grade one and I've just opened it up and now I'm going to close it down again it's pretty much what I've created but I'm just going to take the one a bit higher because before I only took the one to well a little bit lower than this so the one and a half I'm just taking it a little bit a smidge higher he wants more of a haircut a bit shorter but not too short so that's the best way I can kind of get around doing that and then if I take the one and a half grade pop that on I keep my my guard open that's going to give me a bit more of a almost a two so it's not it's not one and a half and it's not a two it's somewhere in between it's about sort of getting to know your grades and knowing which grade does what and then you've got leverage to just bring that down slightly to blend underneath what you've just taken up to. Keep bringing it down, keep bringing it down, and then bring your clipper down as well. You can kind of see, and it just creates it a little bit shorter, but if that doesn't work as well, sometimes getting a grade one, having that open, and even just altering. So instead of going too flat against the head, I'm just gonna alter, I'm gonna pivot up here, and that'll just knock out a bit more of the line. Going the yeah, I'm going more of a 90 degrees angle rather than flat against here. I've just found some techniques that kind of work for me. Might not work for everybody, and people do it all different ways. But yeah, that's the view this is the barbering. great thing about barbering is that you you know it's subject to your own creation. Actually, this I need to I need to blow dry. We need to get it dry. I'm not going to do all the blend work wet. I use a mixture between a round brush and also a vent brush. Both create slightly different looks, but I do love the vent brush for its ease of blow drying and getting a good style with a bit of quiff and a bit of volume. Whenever I like to blow dry as well, I, I want to make sure that the hair is sitting where it naturally wants to sit. I'm not trying to force it in any other direction. It just makes your whole job easier and makes it a little bit less hassle to put product in. And, and you don't want to use a product as just something to force into a different direction otherwise it'll never work. So let's take this side a bit shorter like we did the other side. So again I'm just going to take the one and a half open blade up a little bit higher than I did last time. So we're going to create this side a little bit shorter and drop it down. Here I'm literally taking little ends off. No one refines the haircut as much as I do. I too I see the about this, so I need to be quicker, but this is a bit I enjoy. There is a new one Jack's Is it okay to pop some products in your hair as well? Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. Do you prefer a wet look or more of a dry look? More wet look, yeah. Wow. I haven't used that stuff yeah. so long. It's amazing though, isn't it? It's so yeah. good. Oh, yeah. That's the Every shiny, day. wet look. Every day. You use that? Yeah. I haven't used it in so long. Yeah, we'll do.
but then it's again, easy, mate. Like, see you you see you see you on the Size, so yeah. <laughs> so good to see you, man. We'll catch up soon, yeah? Look after yourself. For that beer at some point. Definitely, definitely. I almost look good now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Well, happy? Very happy. Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.